Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today we are going to be playing and reviewing TaylorMade. This one is a par 74. Yeah, you heard that right, a par 74. Fairways are soft, greens are normal, green speed is medium. I have no idea, unfortunately, who designed this course, guys, but I was recommended this course to play by Easy Money NG. So let's see, we do have three tees to select from. We will be opting to play on the blue tees, which are playing a whopping 7,994 yards. And as always, guys, pin selection number one for the camera flyby. <coughs> So let's get straight into this guys, I am looking forward to getting my teeth into this. I have developed um, a bit of an issue with my swing, I am pushing quite a few shots to the right currently. So hopefully we can uh, eradicate this in this round. So hole 1 is a par 4, playing 437 yards and it is a stroke index 4. But wow, what a beautiful looking opening hole here guys, plenty of uh, bunkers um, that could cause us issues here. So very mild wind conditions here, 3 mile power. So just looking to hit centre of the fairway here guys to open this approach shot to the green. As you can see it looks a slight dog leg right, good open and drive here. There we go, we're right down the, the centre of this fairway, have kicked slightly to the left. But really good open and drive, really hopey with that. Hopey? Meant to say happy. So 144 yards. One four two in the wind. Nine irons, a hundred percent the club. Let's see if we can get this one close, guys. Really good strike so far. No pushes to the right. Oh, this could be quite good if it sits down. Yeah, played that really well. Good yardage. Just a wee bit more to the left hand side that a pin than it would like. Probably gonna be about a nine foot putt. It is nine foot. There's not much in this one. It's going to turn slightly to the left, it is breaking both ways, just going to go right edge of the cup and that does turn into the centre of the, the cup there guys and we do start with a birdie. The course record for this one is currently 7 under guys so there's quite a lot of good players played this including the subscriber who recommended this to me, Easy Money MG. We have been on a bit of a, a hot streak with the course reviews lately, I think we've managed to Get a good few of the course records. So hole two is a par three. Stroke index 10 playing 248 yards. The wind has doubled in speed now. Oh, There's no way I can hit three wood here. So I am going to have to club down to the six wood. Going to rely on the wind to take me round here. Maybe just apply a touch of fade here. Let's see if we can get this running up towards the flag. Another good clean strike. Oh, this should be nice. Sit down ball. Wow, what a fantastic approach shot that is, guys. I am really, really happy with that one. Hopefully it's about an 8-foot putt for birdie. Okay, for birdie. 9-foot putt for birdie. Once again, minimal break in this one. It's going to turn slightly to the left. It does. And we do manage to open with back-to-back -back birdies. But I just want to thank everyone, guys, for their continued support. The channel is now 1.3 thousand subscribers. So thank you very much for helping me achieve that. It is truly appreciated. So hole three is a long par five, playing 618 yards, stroke index 14. But everyone who watches my uh, videos, who hits the like button, who leaves a comment, um, I truly, truly appreciate it, guys. And as you'll know, I do respond to every single comment that's left on the, the video. So this is a huge par, par 5, this one, guys. I do apologise if you hear that motorbike, it's uh, revving outside my, my window. We're sitting about 27 degrees centigrade here in um, the north of Scotland just now, so my windows are open to get in some air. And it's another good strike, guys, right down the centre off the fairway. And despite the fairways being soft, we are getting a bit of good um, run outs on them. They do seem to be sloping downhill so far, though. So 308 yards, there's no way we can hit this in two. Just going to kind of fizz this free wood. De-lofted it a bit. Get this as far down the fairway as possible. I'm hopefully going to be leaving a pitch or a flop shot. Probably going to be at about the 45 to the 50 yard pitch. 
42 yards. Going to loft up the lob wedge. Let's see if we can get this dialed into the flag. Should bounce. Get in. Oh, why we've dunked it. A bit of a uh, fortune there, guys, but we have managed to dunk that 40 eagle, and that is going to take us to four under par. So, why? What a great start to this round. Really swinging well today. So far, and I do say so far in touch wood, I've had no pulls to the left or pushes to the right, which I had quite a few of them in my previous video. So, hole four is a poor. A poor? A par 4 stroke index 16 playing 447 yards and what a beautiful looking hole this is guys. Second shot's going to be over water. Jeez oh I do apologise for my speech errors today guys. So 5 mile per hour wind just looking to get this as far down the fairway as we can. Plenty of fairway to work with here. And I am really swinging well. Hopefully I can continue this form for the rest of the round and take it into the next event of the Four Nations um, golfing event. So 131 yards at one feet. Pitching wedge is definitely the club here guys. This is just about how close I can get this. Wind's going to take us round so I've just lofted this up a touch. One tiny touch. But This is a beautiful looking course so far guys. Really really enjoying it so far the first opening four holes. If this holds its line, it should just be left of the flag. Good yardage again, guys, but a wee bit more to the left-hand side than I allowed for. But once again, fairly straightforward putt here. Just going to be left edge. It is clearly breaking to the right. If it turns, which it is, and it's another birdie, guys, so wow. The greens are fairly straightforward here. I am quite surprised to see there is the, the course record is only at seven under. I can only imagine things do get tougher on the greens as the course um, continues. So hole five is a par four, playing 458 yards, stroke index 12. This one's going to be a severe dog leg left. But disappointed that I can't find out who uh, designed this course. If any is do know, please leave it in the comment section and I will highlight that uh, comment, pin it to the top of the, the comment section for everyone to find out who it is. So just looking to come over the left hand side of this bunker here, really cut the corner. Nice. Should be in the this should be good, we should bounce onto the the upslope of the fairway, which we'll have, and that's really held our ball up. So 300 yards. I'd say it looks like so 146 yards for the pin. down 10 feet. I'm not getting caught out with that wind again. I'm going to say that's about a 2 mile per hour wind into my face here. 146, okay. It's a good strike. This should be all over this. This should be right at the flag here, guys. Bounce. Once again, I'm a bit surprised how that's went a wee bit left there. But once again, decent putt. Yardage is really good, just 13 feet left of the flag. But once again, guys, not much in this at all again. My putting has really improved the last couple of rounds. Hopefully it's going to stay this way. So just the right edge of the flag. Going to rely on it to break. We're just going to play this a nice weight. Hold your line. And wow, it's another putt that we drain right into the heart of the cup. And so far, we are ripping this course up, guys. Six under. Okay. Hole six is a par five, playing 587 yards, stroke index six. But I can certainly see why Easy Money MG has recommended this course to me, guys. And like I say, I do try to get through all the courses I get recommended, guys. But I'm sure, as you guys can appreciate... I'm getting about four, five, six, maybe seven course recommendations a week. On average, I can play three, four rounds a week. So it's very, very hard to uh, keep everyone happy. But I do try my best to source the best courses out there for you guys to go and play. There is a disconnection. So, like I say, par five, 587 yards. Can we hit driver here? Yeah, I think we can. We're just going to hug the left-hand side of this tree line here. 
see if we can kick out into the center of the fairway. These soft fairways are beneficial. But I do imagine we're going to have a very tricky shot. I don't even know if we're going to have a sec. Whoa, what a weird swing animation that was. I've went more left than what I would have liked there. Oh, I'm in trouble here. So, wow, guys. That, I'm not sure what happened there. I don't think I aimed that far left. Maybe I did pull it to the left or I put a, a fast on it there. I'm not certain. So, now we're in real trouble. I'm just going to try and punch... Try and punch this three wood out of here. Gonna have to go right next to the tree here. I've got no idea if this is gonna work out. Let's try and just play. This is a tricky shot. I am in a bit of a predicament here. So we're just not gonna punch it. We're gonna play a six wood and just really draw this round the tree and hopefully find the fairway here. That's a good shot. That is a very, very good shot, guys. And that has came out very, very nice for me. We're probably still going to have a 9-iron, 8-iron in the green here, though. Yeah, 9-iron. 148 yards down with foot into the wind. Very minimal break again on the green. So just deal off in this 9-iron. See if we can get this running up towards the flag. See if we can... Save birdie here after that horrendous tee shot. It's a great strike. I am really hitting the ball well so far today. That's gonna have to hit something. That should check up for me fairly quick, and it has done. So I have overcooked that a little bit, guys, but probably gonna have a 10 foot putt, 11 foot putt for the birdie. Two inches down, and once again, you're seeing, guys, very minimal break on the greens here. Turn. It has turned. So we do manage to salvage the birdie there, guys, despite a poor, a poor tee shot. I can't work out that tee shot how it went so far left. I did get a really dodgy swing animation, though. So hole 7, guys, is a par 4. Stroke index 8. Playing 523 yards, so it's a really long par 4. And I think this is where the difficulty lies in this course, is the length of it. Certainly it's not been the greens so far. The greens have been fairly straightforward. But this is a beautiful looking course, guys. I really love the, the layout of this course. I love how the water is incorporated into certain holes as well. Really picturesque course here. Very pleasing on the eye. So just going to loft up the driver here, guys. It does look like the, the fairway is going to break slightly to the left when it hits it. Let's try to use the whole of the fairway here. Good tee shot again. Is it going to hold the fairway? This is the thing. The fairways are soft. I have lofted up. Yeah, that should sit down for me. Once again, really, really good tee shot there. Should leave me... Going to say a 7 I Oh, why? We're a lot further away than what I anticipated. Why? Okay. I was going to say a 7 or a 6 iron. It's 4 hybrid, and 4 hybrid is the club. I'm going to loft this up. This is a tricky shot because the ball is below our feet. I'm hoping this sits down fairly quickly for me after a bounce. Just a bit long there, guys. So we are going to have about a 25 foot putt, I would suggest, for birdie here. 26 foot. The greens are starting to slightly get more trickier. This one is breaking both ways. 26 foot down 3 inches. It's going to break more to the left than it is to the right, that's for certain. Like I said, I am taking more time over my putts now, guys. Turn. Turn, turn, oh, wow, I've really played that with a bit too much weight there. So I'm probably looking at about a 10 foot putt back the way now. Oh, 6 foot putt back the way. Green speed's 153, but at times it feels slightly faster than that. So we do manage to save the par there, guys, despite a poor birdie putt. And that is going to keep us at 7 under par, guys. But what a front 9 we're having so far here. The first 6 holes were all birdies on an eagle. 
So hole 6, oh wow, this one's a really short par 4, 256 yard par 4, stroke index 18. So it is the easiest hole on the course, according to the stroke index. Very short par 4, this one. Why, this must be up there with one of the shortest par 4s I've ever played. I think I can hit the 6 wood here, guys, to be fair. So I am going to try and draw this round the bunker and kick this onto the green here. Just de-loft in it as well. We've added a touch of drop. Good strike. This should bounce on well for me, I do think. Go on, get up, get up. Ah, just not enough. Three wood was too much, six wood just wasn't enough. So we're going to be loft with a flop shot here, guys. 24 yards. Let's just take a bit off the 25 yard because we are in heavy rough. This will probably run out a little bit as well. It won't sit down as quick as a flop normally would. We've put a bit too much on that. Probably going to be left with a 9 to 10 foot putt for birdie. It is a 12 footer. Once again, very minimal breaks. Hopefully that holds its line. It does, so we do manage to rattle that birdie in there, guys, despite not hitting the green um, with a tee shot and maybe not playing the best of flop shots there. But we are 8 under, guys, so we are one shot ahead of the current course record already. Wow. So hole 9 is another monster par 4, playing 517 yards stroke index 2. This is making it the second most difficult hole on the course. So, let's see what we can do here. Very, very nice course though, guys. I am really enjoying my time out here. Like I say, guys, I do try to source the best courses for you on the channel to watch for your entertainment. And also to go out there and play and enjoy yourselves. It's another good drive. So, once again, we find the center of the fairway here. Just short of 300 yards, 296 yards. Like we're about 220 so yards. 220 yards. This should be the four hybrid. Just going to deal off this a bit, guys, because I do think we are going to just hit this rough or fringe. And I just want it to kick out of there. Ah. Always just one on way to take a swing. This one might be in the rough. Oh wow, that rough really killed that guy. So we're gonna be left with a chip shot. We're green, so, uh, so we're gonna fully loft up the, the twelve yard lob wedge here. And attack the pin. Again, that's in. Oh, we just lip out. Wow, wow. Nice. Had to fully loft that there, guys, due to the coming out the rough. So we're going to miss out on the birdie on this occasion, but we've got a simple six-foot putt coming back the way for the par. But very interesting to know that a subscriber, I do apologise, I forgot his name, has got the exact same um, controller as me, and he doesn't get the disconnections. So it's very, very interesting, that. So... Hole number 10 is a par 4, playing 390 yards, stroke index 15. This uh, green is littered with uh, bunkers here. Wow. Wow. So let's see. I'm sure we... Can we keep the driver below this tree here? Yeah, I'm sure we can. Quite a tough uh, tee shot here, to be fair, guys. Put a fast on that one. All right, Hopefully that's going to find the fairway. Yeah, we're going to be over on the right-hand side of the fairway. Yeah, so I was saying a subscriber says he's got the exact same controller as me. It is a PS4 official. I use the Nacon or Nacon wired controller. Just the basic one. It's not the expensive one. It was £35, guys. Um, it's a really good controller. 
Um, it's very sensitive, to be fair. I need this to spin. I need this to spin. Uh, just a bit off the body yardage here, guys. I was too busy talking. But look at this. We have got a fair amount of backspin there. And we're probably going to have a six-foot putt. Five-foot putt for birdie. So we did play that really, really well. We do manage to get another birdie. But yeah, fantastic controller, guys. Um, slightly cheaper than the analog dual shocks. And we do manage to get to nine under. I do seem to go through a lot of controllers. I've got very big hands. Um, I hold the controller, very, I grip it very, very tight. But this controller seems to be very, very comfortable. So I do know a, a few people do use them. Someone else did tell me they do get the disconnections, but it was interesting to know that this um, subscriber, I think it was Mr. Zola, didn't get the the disconnections like I do. So hole 11 is a par 3, 198 yards, stroke index 17. So why lots of slopes here. The greens are starting to uh, get more tricky. I do feel I'm going to have to kick on from the rough here. This is certainly going to hit the rough. Hopefully, we can get the bounce on and it can find that slope. It does look like the green slopes severely to the right-hand side. So, what will be left of the flag here? And let it kick on. Get up, get up. Ah, just once again. Wow. This heavy rough, guys, is absolutely brutal. It just sits down instantly. So, now this is a tricky chip shot. 13 foot down, 2 yards. Out of the heavy rough. This is going to be hard to get us to stop. Sit down. Oh, bye-bye ball. And this could be the first drop shot of the round here, guys. Because this looks like it could be a tricky putt. 11 foot putt. Breaking to the left. Down one inch. This is just for the, the par save here. Turn, turn, oh, so we have dropped a shot, guys, and that is the first bogey of the round, disappointingly, and that is going to take me back to 8 under par, I do believe, yeah, so 8 under par, disappointed to get that bogey, but the course punished me there, so hole 12 is another monster, par 5, 626 yards, Stroke index 3. So you can see why this is a par 74, guys. Um, the yardage is uh, absolutely monstrous. But it's something that I'm really enjoying. Yeah, Mr. Zola, it was 1, 2, 3, 4, guys. Says he does not get the disconnections with a Nacon controller. But I am really enjoying this course, guys. It is uh, quite unique on some holes. Very creative as well. My swing has been really, really good today, guys. So far, we've had no pushes or pulls. Oh, not the kindest of bounces there. So we're probably going to have to fade this next shot, I would imagine. Let's see. Why is it giving me a 9 iron? Is it a short... Pardon me, I've got hiccups. Is it a shortcut here? No, we're going to be okay. This slope should help us out here. Just wanting to get this as far down the fairway as possible. That should bounce out fairly nice for me. It has done. And I should be looking at maybe a gap wedge into the green here. Yeah. So it's going to be a gap wedge pitch. 63 up 10. Just going to loft this up a touch here, guys. Because we are on a slight down slope. And hopefully get this biting. It is playing 66 yards with an uphill slope. That should bounce on and then sit down. Played that quite well there, guys. Probably going to be left with a 5 foot putt for the birdie. 4, feet. Let's Four foot putt. It is going to turn quite aggressive to the left hand side of the cup. But we've played that with a bit more pace than normal. with counteract the break. And it goes right into the heart of the cup. And we are now... Nine under again. We get that drop shot back straight away. Okay, it's time to send this ball and it's so hole 13 is a par 4 playing 499 yards stroke index 1. So it's interesting to see that this course is playing the, the toughest on the course so far. Severe dog leg right. 
water is in play as well, because I do imagine I might have to come over that water. Oh, there's not much fairway to work with either, guys. Very tight fairway here. And the pin location seems to be back left of the green. No, we're not, be, not coming over the water at all. So we managed to get over that overhanging branch there. And this is going to be a really difficult shot here because if this tree... I can see why this is the difficultest hole so far. Because this tree is... I think the best way is to, to draw this round. I really like this, guys, because you've got to be creative with some of your shots. It makes you play different shots. 189 yards up. So we're really going to have to draw this 5-iron round here. This is a tricky shot. Just going to loft this 5-iron up a touch. This one's a beauty. Tell you what, we've played this well. This green slopes to the towards the flag. Turn. Gotta be happy with that shot there, guys. <coughs> Pardon me. Probably going to be left with a 12 foot putt for birdie. 10 foot putt for birdie. We played that really, really well. It is going to turn to the left hand side. Down four, down two inches. This one's all on the weight. It does break aggressively towards the end, just like that. And we do manage to pick up the birdie there. Delighted to get that birdie. So we do manage to get to 10 under par, guys. And once again, we are smashing course records left, right and centre just now. But, these course records will be beat, I'm sure of it. But it's always nice to be up there, top of the leaderboards. So hole 14 is another par 4, playing 450 yards, stroke index 13. Once again... The bunker is lit. The bunker, the green is littered with uh, bunkers over it, surrounding it. So once again, just certain barriers in our way here for a tree again. Oh, I put a fast slow. Looking good so far. My only saving grace could be that the fairways are soft here, and this sits down quick. Oh, I tell you what, guys, very, very fortunate there. Just when I said that I'm swinging well. So 164 yards up 11 feet, 168. Into the wind. This is the club. I feel this club is the perfect yardage for this shot. I'm not even going to alter it, guys. This wind should hold me up just enough. Just going to aim right at the flag. Let the slope and the wind counteract themselves and hopefully we bang on the money here. Beauty. This should be good, guys. That should turn. Played that really, really well. Didn't get the run out I expected. Okay, let's see what you can do with this eight footer. We are left with an eight foot putt for birdie. Just gonna break slightly to the left. And we do manage to drain another birdie pack, guys. So we are now sitting at 11 on the par for the round. We are going really, really well here, guys. Let's move on to hole number 15, which is a short... I was going to say a short par 4, but it's not. It's a long par 3. Stroke index 7, and it is playing 243 yards. But I really like how the environment um, gets in your way here, guys. Certain trees, certain bunkers. Makes you really have to be wary... And be creative with some of your shot selection. So once again, we can't just attack this. So 238 yards. Six we just gonna take a bit off of this. And see if we can kick this on. So I am applying a touch of fade here, guys. Try to keep this. Till oh, I have hit the tree. Oh, too much fade. How's my luck here though? Oh, I thought I was going to get a really nice bounce. We did get a nice first bounce. The second bounce, not so nice. So we are going to have a chip shot from just the light rough here. This is going to be a delicate one. This could run in. This could run in. Oh, my goodness. How did that not drop? I thought that was zeroed in all the way there. So just picking up a par there, guys. 
So we are going to remain at 11 under with two par 5s and a par 4 to play according to scorecard. So hole 16 is a par 5. Quite a short par 5 for this course, playing 551 yards, stroke index 11. But the, for the home nations, the four nations um, event this week, guys, it is a defend your turf um, round. That's, that's all I'm willing to say just now. And I'm still looking forward to... Uh, the Enforcer 3891 and Calf Losses Playoff. That should be really exciting. Two top players at the top of their game. Um, they both finished 8 under par on the previous event, which I'm sure most of you have caught up with. So they need to go to a playoff to see who wins the point. So we have nailed that 294 yards there, guys, down the centre of the fairway. So we should be able to take this par 5 on in 2 now. So 2, 6, 3. Down 1. Wind's going to move us to the left. Once again, bunkers in play. So just lofting up this 3 wood. And I am going right at the flag here, guys, to see if we can give ourselves an eagle opportunity here. This should be nice. I tell you what, this should be nice. Sit down, ball. Come on, sit down. It's run out a bit more than I anticipated. Is it going to catch that slope? No. So probably looking about a 22 foot putt. 18 foot putt for the eagle. Up 4 inches. This one's certainly turning to the right. Let's see if we can nail another eagle here. Ah, it's a poor putt. The weight was decent. Just didn't allow enough for that break. That really broke more than I allowed, but we're going to have a simple tap in for the birdie here guys, which is going to get us to 12 under par. But really enjoying my time in this course here guys, I, I, I urge you to go out here and play this, you'll certainly like it, I think it's a course that all ability golfers can play here. Um, I would class myself as just above an average player in the golf club too, but um, I'm having a good round here. So hole 17 is a par 5 playing 550 yards, stroke index 9. Once again, slight dog leg left. I do feel that the trees on the left hand side there are going to make me have to think about my shot again. But yet, yeah, you can see there's been a lot of time and effort put into this course. Yet, yeah, this is, so I'm probably going to have to find, looks like this, the, the fairway slopes to the right hand side here. So I want to be able to be, get past this tree. So I'm hoping my ball's going to run down the fairway and open this out. It's another good drive. Yeah, there we are. There's that huge bounce and the runoff to the right. So we've that's going to allow us to tack this in two again. So 230 yards. I do like how there's rough separating a lot of the, the greens and the fairways, guys, because it does, it eliminates your run-on shots. And like I say, the designers obviously thought about this. And he's trying to eliminate that from from happening. So I'm just trying to hit the, the fringe here. Oh, just a bit long. Just a bit long there, guys. So we are going to have another eagle putt. But just a touch too long there. Probably going to be looking about another 22 foot, 19 foot putt. Down the hill, down the slope, two inch slope. It is turning to the left for another eagle opportunity. This looks good. Ooh. Just miss it on the left edge. Better weight this time. And it is going to be another tap in birdie putt for me. Which is going to get us to 13 under par guys with one hole to play. So we've absolutely smashed the course record which was 7 under before I teed off. Failing a disaster. Failing a Jean Von de Velde moment on the 18th. So hole 18 is a shorter par 4 playing 397 yards stroke index 5. But this is a beautiful course guys. I can't recommend it enough. Once again, we do have water in play. I'm not sure if we can drive over the water here. This this could be a test and hold this, because I might not be allowed to drive. Use driver here. I might have to lay up. Getting a lot of disconnections with the controller today. 
Yeah. I don't think I can make this over the water. No chance. So once again, the designer has uh, put thought into this and he's saying, nah, I'm not going to let you use your driver here, guys. Not on the tour clubs. So I'm probably going to have to come down to this. Nah, there's just, there's nothing. I'm looking at, what's going through my head here, guys, is can I hit a rock? <laughs> And bounce on, but that is just too much down to whack. So I'm going to have to come down to the six wood, guys, because the three wood's too much as well on these ones. So we're going to nail a six wood down here, and then it's probably, if my yard is just correct, it's probably going to be a four hybrid, or maybe even a five iron into the into the 18th. So once again, I really like how the designer is making you play the course here. You're being forced to play the course. Oh, why? This is a lot shorter than what I anticipated. So, it's an 8 iron. We're going to be just going to loft this up slightly. Green does slightly slope to the right. This should be zero. Then the distance should be bang on here, guys. Hopefully this one's close. Yeah, this should be good after a bind. Should slightly turn to the right and down. We've played that really, really well there, guys. So we're probably going to be left with a 5 to 6 foot putt for birdie to get to 14 under par, 6 foot putt. Breaking both ways, just going to favour the left. And we do manage to read that putt and drop that for a 14 under par round. So, guys, really enjoy my time out here in this course. We managed to shoot a 14 under par. For me, I'm going to give this a 4 star rating, guys, because I do believe some of the greens were just a bit too easy. There wasn't enough test on them. But this is a course you guys should really go out there and play. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.